we are all looking for the best way to make our content appealing. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to create your own custom collat effect for your videos. Let's get started. First, we want to give a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to our channel. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't subscribed already, think about doing so. Okay, so this effect is very popular and for good reasons. It provides visual and engaging content for your viewers. Take a product review, for example, and see how we can make this shot more interesting and informative. And actually, there is already a color title effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. It is somewhat customizable, and if there is no motion in your footage, that could be enough. And yes, there is a lot of tutorial on YouTube showing you how to attach this color title to a tracker. But while having text follow something around can be great, it can also become very distractive and make it difficult for the viewer to follow the information that you're trying to provide. But if you prefer total control or would like something a little more fancy, it is quite simple to create your own template to use and reuse in different projects. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. Today, we'll be working on a semantic sequence that we shot a few months ago and in which we did use this effect in a fun way. Let's watch it first. Okay, so I chose a clip where Blue is pulling out the backpack as it provides a lot of contrast that will make it easy to track. Let's create the effect by right-clicking on the clip and opening Infusion page. Here you can see that my layout is set vertically and this is to reduce the amount of travel between my nodes and the inspector. You can change your own layout by going to Workspace and Layout Presets. As usual, we have a Media In, which is our clip, and a Media Out, which is the output that will be rendered. We'll start by adding the text and choose a suitable style. Select the Media In node and click on the text icon to automatically connect our text node with the merge one. Select the text node, go to the inspector, type your text and format it to your liking. To trace the line that will connect the bag to the text, we need the polygon and background node. Make sure that nothing is selected, click on the background icon and the polygon one. Add two points and drag the background output to the media in one. This will automatically create a new merge node. Select the polygon node and in the inspector, change the border width to add some thickness to your line. You can change the line color in the background node, but if like me, you would like to have the text and the line share the exact same color, I'm going to show you a neat feature that will save you a lot of time while experimenting on the design. For now, I need to change it to the same color as the text. So in this case, white. Select both the background and text node by using the control key. In the background tab, right click on the red channel and choose expression. Repeat the same for green and blue. This will allow us to set the value of each channel dynamically by connecting those expressions to all the parameters in the text node. Drag the place icon for the red channel, hover above the text tab, go to the shading tab, and here drop on red. Now repeat for green, And blue. And now, whenever I change the color of my text, it will update the line accordingly. That's really handy. And because the footage is showing here before my grade, I'm gonna use the color picker to adjust the color to match the backpack. I'm going to jump in the color page to show you the result. And now, as you can see, the grade is applying to my text as well. Talking about doing stuff dynamically, let's spice things up and connect the polygon to the text node. Select the polygon node, click on the select all points icon, right click on the polygon, go to polygon polyline, publish, publish points. This will make both points accessible in the inspector. And just as we did for the color, we're going to right click on each point and add an expression. Press Ctrl and select the text node, drag the plus icon, hover above text, go to layout, and release above center. Select the text node, and look at this. Isn't it sweet? Wherever you move the text, the line will follow. You can then adjust the look by doing some text formatting and decide how you want the callout to appear. I'm going to text, I'm going to use the anchoring to make sure that the line 
is in the corner. Select the polygon node, and here you can play with position and length to change the look of it. I'm gonna move my position and reduce a bit the length. Before we start tracking, this is the perfect time to save everything we created so far as a template so we could reuse it in another clip or other project just with one click. In our next video, we'll be showing you how to create advanced customizable templates. But for now, I'll be showing you the very basics. Select all your polygons except media in and media out. Right click, go to macro and select create macro. In here, you're going to select everything that you want to be able to customize later on in your template. Once you're done, select file, save, give it a name and click save. You will need to restart DaVinci Resolve for the template to appear in your effect library. You'll find it in macro and here, just with one click, we'll be able to add our template. And as you can see in the inspector, all the settings that you can see here are the one that I selected in the macro. If you find it too overwhelming, don't worry. Set it aside and wait for our next tutorial. I'm going to delete this. For the final step, we're going to add a tracker so we can make the second point for the bag. For this, select media in, control space, TRA, add a tracker, place the tracker overlay above the features that you want to track. In this case, the eyes and adjust the tracking area. Okay, in the inspector, click on the button track forward from current time. Okay, tracking is done. You can check if the tracking went smoothly. Okay, very good. Now that we're done tracking, select both the polygon and the tracker nodes. Grab the second point with the plus icon. Hover above the tracker. And here, drop to track center. And just like this, the line is now connected to the tracker and it will follow your subject around. If I play the clip over, you can see that it works perfectly. You can now add any kind of animation to your color effect to make it appear the way you want. And for example, select your text. Go a few frames before we started tracking. Go to right on, add a keyframe, bring it to zero. Move a few frames forward. Add another keyframe, bring it to one. Save the polygon. Go back to the frame where you started tracking. Add a keyframe to level and length. Bring both to zero. Move forward. Add another keyframe to level and length. Bring level back to one and the length to wherever you want it to stop. Okay. Well, let's select. And if I play around the clip, you can see that the effect is happening smoothly. I'm going to jump to the edit page to check how it looks once graded and with a speed ramp. And that's pretty awesome. But it's just the beginning because you can add any kind of graphics and extend your template with something a lot more complex and visual with a bit more work. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and make sure to check our VFX and DaVinci Resolve playlist for more tutorial. And until next video, take care, peace!